everyone. It's game day for the Blues and the Wild. Game one is going to happen at 8.30 tonight. And Lou, I think, obviously, the rally towels are out, ready to go. In full force. <laughs> but for the Blues, I think the first thing that everybody kind of is intrigued about is Ivan Barbashev centering that top line of Jane Schwartz and Vladimir Tarasenko. When you think of him as a player, what can he do for that top line? Bring a lot of skill. I mean... He's obviously shown it. He's had 30 games of experience so far. Granted, not a lot of experience with those guys, but uh, he's brought it. I mean, he's brought a level of confidence, and I think it's really helped out what kind of coaching that he got down in Chicago with uh, Craig Berube and his staff. I mean, they, they've done a great job getting him ready for this. He and Jordan Schmaltz both. And this is going to be a big test for them, but I think they're really excited. Look at what about Payarvi, too? Because he was down there with them as well. He had a lot of time down there in the AHL. So when you think about Payarvi and where he's at in the lineup, what about him? I think you have to be impressed with what he's done. And when I say that, he stuck with it. You know, this is a guy that's obviously from a European background. He could have gone over to Europe and... Uh, being a, a, a number one pick in the NHL, uh, some people may look at him and say that uh, he hasn't necessarily panned out the way a lot of people thought, but he stuck with it, and uh, his determination has got him to where he's at right now, and, uh, you know, just staying with the process, going back to the minors, that's hard to do. He's done this multiple times now, and this isn't easy for a player. I mean, you know, there is some ego involved here, you know, and... There can be some hurt feelings with this, too, you know, that you have to continuously go back to the minors and kind of have to prove yourself all over again. And I think he's proved himself, and uh, he's really a player that's looking forward to this as well. You know, with Ivan as well, he mentioned that he talked with Vladdy. He wouldn't disclose any stories, but he said that Vladimir Tarasenko gave him some stories about the playoffs and what it's like. Can you give him maybe an idea of maybe what Vladdy would have told him? <laughs> I wish I could, but... Uh, uh, it's just some things between players. I mean, they re what they really want to do is they want to be on the same page, and they just want to give a, a level of comfortability to these guys. And they've been through it. Vladdy went through it a couple of years ago himself, you know, and it, it's it's not easy. I mean, you look around here now, I mean, this is, they call it the state of hockey for a reason. There's going to be a lot of raging fans in here. They're going to be against you. You have to overcome that. Try to block all that out while you're on the ice and everybody's here waving these uh, white towels. It's, it, it, it's going to be quite an experience for them. I think more than anything, they just have to make these guys feel comfortable. Just try it. I know it's easy to say, just try to treat it as any other game. And Barbashev even said that to us in the locker room. Yeah, he did. And, you know, with Yo, too, obviously he comes back to a familiar place, and he's been pushing that aside as well, not trying to get too wrapped up in the emotions of it all. But do you think for him, I mean, when he comes out here, he's on the bench, he sees the pregame show and all that happening, I mean, there's got to be some sense of emotion that comes through him in terms of he used to be the coach here. Absolutely. I mean, he can say whatever he wants, right. and he's downplaying the whole thing. Anybody will do that, and it's only natural. Of course, they want to get their team ready and prepared to play for this, but there's got to be something inside their brain going, I'd really like to stick it to these guys. And of course there is. And, uh, you know, he spent five years here. It was his first head coaching job. He has learned a lot from it. And it's natural. I mean... Heck, we saw what happened with Ken Hitchcock. He looks like he's going to get another job. They continue to learn with this stuff, and it's it's. This is his second job, obviously, and uh, he has come a long way. Blues have gone 22, eight and two since he's taken over, and they're in the position that they're in because of it. And uh, I just think that he brings a level of calmness to these guys. He's a little more closer to their age, and he can maybe relate to them a little bit better too. Yeah, well, okay, we'll do maybe a prediction. Do you want to make a prediction for tonight's game? Or tonight? would you rather stay away from that? No, that's fine. I okay. actually think the Blues are going to come out and play well tonight, and uh, I'm going to call a 4-2 victory tonight. Ooh, 4-2. Yes. Okay, I'm going to say 2-1. Ooh. Blues. You're probably a little more on par with how this series is going to play out, but I just think with uh, the first games... There might be a couple of more mistakes uh, that are magnified as we go along in this series that we may not see. I'm going to stick. I think her pit's better. <laughs> oh, well, I'll take you. Thank you. All right, well, that will do it, um, and we'll uh, see how it all plays out.